What's up guys and welcome back to the Sci-Fi Bookery. I'm Josh and this is Short Story Sunday where we celebrate all the greatness that is short form science fiction. It's been a little while but um, this is kind of the like busy season for one of my other channels so I've been pumping out a lot of content over there. So I do have a few short story Sundays in the chamber for the upcoming weeks. So fear not, we're still going to get our short story on. And today we're going to be talking about Toy Shop by Harry Harrison. And I have to admit, this is the first Harry Harrison I've ever read. I do own a few of his books, but um, I've never read any of them. So this is actually the first one. And I thought, you know, this was a good time to check it out because I, I can usually determine if I want to read an author based on their short story work because if I, as I've said before short stories are kind of like a microcosm of science fiction whereas if you can pack a good story into a very short form then you can definitely extrapolate that into a really great novel so I am looking forward to more by Harry Harrison after reading this. So Toy Shop is a story about a young man who is an astrophysicist. He's a rocket scientist and he goes to a toy shop to see this new toy that's billed as a rocket, like self-propelled rocket that is like magical and stuff like that. So he goes in there and it seems magical enough, but nobody's buying it. And he sees the thing demonstrated and all that. So he goes up to the guy who's demonstrating it and he's like, come on, I, I'm, I'm in rocket science. I know this isn't a real rocket, what's the deal? So the guy says, okay, he levels with him and he's like, it's a little black thread. So it's tied to my ring and then the other part comes over and it's tied to the rocket and when I back up and my hands go out like this, the rocket goes up, it's very simple. So he goes, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna trick my astrophysicist friends, I'll pick up one of those. So he gets a rocket and he takes it to poker night with his friends and he does a little trick and they immediately know it's a, it's a black thread tied to the ceiling. And so they all try it and they break the thread every single time. And so they take the thing apart and find that it's this like um, anti-matter, not anti-matter, but it's like, a, like an anti-gravity propulsion system and they just gut the thing. And as the story goes on, they're trying to figure this thing out and try to learn more about it until they come to a discovery. And I always say every science fiction story, whether it's short, whether it's you know 5,000 pages, whatever, it's a, a movie, a TV show, anything, it should always ask or answer the question, what does it mean to, what does it mean to be human? And this one definitely does. The ending is, um, it's one of those sort of, I don't like to call it soft ending, but it's sort of a an open ending, which I really like most of the time. And I did like with this one too. It, it gets you thinking, but it's also a really cocky ending, which I also appreciated. Um, it's a predictive ending to this story. And I, I don't know, that kind of got me hooked with Harry Harrison. Now I'm really interested to read some of these other books that I have from him. Um, I, I liked it. So if you want to read it, I, I am going to drop the uh, LibriVox recording uh, link down below in my description. And if you want to read my short story, my short science fiction story, Cold Coffee, that I recently published for my 200 subscribaganza. So every 100 subscribers I get, I'm writing a short science fiction story that correlates to the number of subscri subscribers. So my most recent goal was 200. So I wrote a 200 word short story and that's going to be linked down below too so guys thank you so much for watching this was short story sunday at the sci-fi bookery i'm josh we'll see you next time